Okay, so um, we're now going to look at a specific example where integration by parts is quite regularly tested. And it's to make sure that you can integrate log x. Because if any question on an exam paper is going to ask you to use the integral of log x, you're going to have to integrate it. And because it's one that um, isn't one of the required ones to remember, because it's a little bit fiddly when it comes down to it, what the integral of log x is, um, usually there's a part A of a question where you have to integrate it yourself. And usually the hint is that we write log x as x, log x times 1. Okay. So, because at the moment, why I've put this in the integration by parts section is it might seem like a bit of a mystery. There is no product here. It's not log x times anything unless you think of it as log x times 1. Okay? So, make sure that you understand how this works, that you remember this late function here, this late law. So that when we're choosing our u and our dv by dx, we're looking down the list, and the first one we come across is the L, logarithm. So the logarithm, the log x, must be our u, and the dv by dx is going to be 1. So that when I differentiate u, this log x, I get 1 over x, and when I integrate 1, I get x. So if I substitute this directly into our formula up in the top right here, we have u times v, so x times log x, take away the integral of uh, v du by dx, so x times 1 over x dx. Now let's do a little bit of tidying there, because this x times 1 over x doesn't look very nice because they multiply together just to make 1. So I have 1 dx. So the integral of 1 is x, so that's just x log x, take away x, and you need to make sure you have your plus c constant of integration on the end. Okay, so that is the integral of log x, this x log x take away x. It's a very common question to get in the paper, so make sure you've practiced it and that you're happy with the process.